Hey, COVID campers, uh, Vince Pacenti here. Yeah, we're with John. We, John, you're in California. We've been buddies for a couple decades, I guess. A long, long Something time. like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, how's the COVID camping going on in your world? I know you got a, a college kid and a high schooler. So how's that going? Yeah, just two days ago, I brought my son home from UC Santa Cruz. And uh, I guess for his spring quarter, his dorm room is going to be, uh, well, right downstairs here. So he's with us for a while. Not exactly how we expected his uh, year of school to end. But um, are you planning on keg stands downstairs or something? What's Oh, well, yeah, that's that's happening anyway. So now it would be good that he's here, too. And your daughter, man, she's a senior in high school, so how's that affecting her? Yeah, well, she's not too sad about being out of school and not oh. going into school every day, okay. but she is pretty bummed that uh, it looks like graduation is not going to happen, senior prom isn't going to happen, uh, you know, there are a lot of things like that that are, are pretty disappointing for, for someone a senior in high school to, to have it all end without much fanfare. So prepping for these kids coming home, what have you been doing to make it all work? Well, uh, stocking up on alcohol, um, not, not for the kids. No. No. And, uh, no, we've, you know, it's interesting because, you know, we just, we all sat down last night for dinner, the four of us together, which was an added bonus that we didn't think was going to be happening right now. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of each other and we're all trying to figure out where our spaces are and, how the kids can keep doing their online homework and how my wife and I can do our online work right now and right. trying to give everybody some space and the ability to do what needs to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we had a, I can't remember the last time we did a board game. We played a board game last night and we laughed and laughed and laughed. So that's maybe medicine right there. Yeah. I mean, even just walking around the neighborhood here, you know, it's very quiet, but because everybody's home from work and there aren't many things to do, you know, people are out on walks together and, uh, you know, playing catch with a ball out on the beach. I, I live in Hermosa Beach, so we're right here on the ocean. And, uh, you know, while it's still kind of quiet out there, there are a lot more sort of sweet moments of families and couples and people just spending time together. And uh, it's, it's kind of nice to see. Any funny moments that pop into mind? Oh, well, yeah, they're we're all just kind of getting into this right now. But, uh, well, first of all, I've been self quarantining. I just got home from a trip uh, about a week ago where I was exposed to a lot of people and, uh, I came home feeling a little bit sick. So, you know, sore throat and coughing. And so I'm a little worried about that. So I've been, uh, actually sleeping in the basement and I, I haven't, I haven't touched my wife in a week. Um, I, I think this is harder for me than it is for her. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but we're coping. Uh, God, I got, I shook him for a week. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, it, it is kind of a weird thing where, you know, I'm, I'm sitting six feet away from them and we're not getting close to each other and we're not touching each other. I don't know how much good this is doing. You know, we're still yeah. in the same space, so we're probably catching whatever anyone has, but, yeah. uh, but yeah, we're, we're doing our best. It's a, it's a weird time. You had a, told me a funny story, uh, I think it was yesterday, about burritos or something. What, what happened there? Yeah, we, we have not done the best job. Of, you know, we're not one of those families that ran out and stocked up on everything. So um, probably the one effort I made is um, uh, the other day I went down to our favorite Mexican place on the corner, and I ordered 20 breakfast burritos and stuck them all in the freezer. So, um, and then on my last gig, I stole an extra roll of toilet paper from the hotel room. So that's, that's pretty much our, our Armageddon stockpile is 20 burritos and an extra roll of toilet paper. I don't know if that's enough toilet paper for 20 burritos. Really. No, no, it's not enough. We need more toilet paper or fewer burritos. Something, <laughs> I think to, to paraphrase a, uh, our friend Pat Hazel, yes. and, uh, his stand-up act, he does a whole thing about groceries and toilet paper and the correct ratio. And, yeah, my ratio is not good right now. Maybe we could flatten the curve, you know, and, you know, not do whatever. The, yeah. the flattening the toilet paper curve. I don't know. I think there's something there. Toilet paper has become a really big deal these days. Who knew? What, what, what is that all about? Like, why did that become a thing? I mean, yeah, is it, I mean, everyone's biggest nightmare is just being stuck at home without enough toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> I, Top of the list. 
Well, I mean, it, it, it is important. I, I, I'll give you that. Yeah, that important. But anyway, uh, yeah, anyway, we're just uh, doing a little well, thing with COVID campers, making sure we reach out and uh, know we're thinking about them. Any uh, parting words of, from your perspective? I mean, you, uh, for a living, you have uh, get out there and uh, world class entertainers, jugglers, been on America's Got Talent, I believe, a number of times, actually two rounds, right? Yeah, yeah, a couple of times on America's Got Talent. And uh, yeah, so right now, you know, all, all the gigs have gone away. And uh, I mean, I'm especially worried uh, because I'm a juggler. And, you know, as of course, you know, jugglers catch everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see? There you see, go. See what, see what I did there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. T-ball really is what you just did. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the, one nice thing, okay, we don't have any gigs, but our practice space, we have a private space and, uh, you know, I get into my car alone, I get on the freeway, which by the way, the, the LA freeways are fantastic right now. Oh yeah. Driving 80 miles an hour, there's hardly anyone out there. So right. then I, we get to the practice space and can be there all alone without any interaction with anybody. So that aspect of the work is still fun. We're going to be creative and keep practicing and keep working on things. Um, but uh, th this phone call with you is, I think, the closest thing we've got to a gig in the next <laughs> six months. So oh, that's why I put on a nice shirt. Yeah, that's right. I, I noticed you shaved, too. Thank you for that. I did. I shaved and put on a shirt. I'm still wearing sweatpants, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> but, I, but you know, you don't need to know that. Wait, so if people want to reach out and see what you're up to, do they go to your website? What do you do? What do, they do? Yeah, uh, go to passingzone.com. Uh, also, we're on a lot of social media. If you search for Passing Zone, we do a lot of stuff on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Right. Uh, so, so one of the things we're going to be doing is more and more, you know, like you're doing right now. Of uh, things online, uh, trying to find ways to entertain people and uh, film stuff in our in our warehouse space, and just you know bring as much fun as we can, both to keep ourselves from going crazy, but also to try to try to put something out there that people can enjoy. Um, one of the last things we did back when the world was uh, as we used to know it, um, we were just in Las Vegas. In fact, a week ago, right now. Uh, filming uh, an episode of Fool Us, uh, Penn and Teller's show, Fool Us. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was really, I mean, it was the final day of their taping of their season. They were worried about having to cancel even that last day. I mean, it came right down to the wire. Right. So we had a live audience. We performed a bit with Penn and Teller. We weren't on there trying to fool them uh, this time. We did that last season. But this time we uh, performed a piece with them on stage. And that was just a blast. So even that'll air this summer. So while we're sitting at home, uh, not traveling for gigs, uh, we'll at least be on the uh, airwaves out there so people can enjoy that uh, yeah. without any close contact. Well, please say hello to Owen for me, your uh, juggling partner as well. And, um, and uh, just wish the best to you and your family and uh, happy capping. Yeah, you too. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for doing this. And uh you know, even though, I mean, this is a perfect way for people to have a little fun, a little bit of levity, but of course, uh, you know, not that we're not taking this seriously because, uh, yeah, things are, things are about to get a lot weirder before they get better. Yeah. Yeah. Hang in there, buddy. Hey, you too. Thanks Vince. And, uh, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Take care. We'll be in touch.